I mean, this is this where the character came from is one of those things that you were asking about earlier. This is where just the world we're living in sort of pointed to the, the direction to us. Brian's kids were of a certain age. They were one was in college, one was in high school a couple of years ago when we were working on that season. And Brian came in and said, my kids come home and they tell me at the beginning of each semester, the teachers ask them to announce their pronouns in case anybody's had a change or wants to say it a different way or whatever. And everybody in the writer's room, you know, our age or within 10 or 15 years of our age, didn't really know what that was all about. We were all like, what do you mean? That doesn't, I'm, I, I've never heard that before. One guy in the room said, you know, I sat next to somebody like that who was gender non-binary at an event, I think um, maybe they'll come in and, and talk to us. And we realized that this was sort of happening in the world. And it was a fascinating opportunity to take a character who um, on the inside had a, a lot of the same stuff that Bobby Axelrod had, you know, the brilliant mathematical mind, the great business trader mind, but on the outside presented really differently. And to put them in the same environment in this so, you know, sort of traditionally male world and to see what happened as people tried to deal with them. And, you know, when you start out on a TV show, you can have great plans for what a character could turn into, but you know that if after an episode or two, the actor's not up to it or it's not clicking, you're gonna sort of bail and go the other direction. Well, as soon as Asia was in the show, they were so magnetic and amazing, we realized we had somebody that we could give anything to and take the character anywhere. So it just built since then from, from their first episode.